one of the uses that we can do with our shop system is to see live events and to do that we go into the monitoring and control of course first of all we can choose the parking lot from where we are getting the events we can see the time of each event we can see the company name driver name of every event every uh, plate that was captured we can see from which camera we can see the direction of the camera if it's on, in an entrance or an exit to a parking lot we can see the event type if it's an authorized or unauthorized vehicle if we press the license plate number we will be able to choose to add a vehicle into the database of course we add it to a company and we assign it to a parking group if you don't uh, don't yet know what is a company or a parking group go to the videos explaining those uh, issues so next thing that we can do here is to press the image itself when we press an image we get two images actually one of them is the cutout of uh, the plate itself of the vehicle and the other one actually shows us the entire frame so we can see what happened exactly in the moment when the vehicle was captured of course we can also see the number that the camera was able to get from the from the plate which 99 percent of the cases are uh, accurate of course depends on the installation under options we can see live video okay just live video that happens right now from our camera and we can open a gate manually okay so if we press the open gate immediately we will be able to see a new line this line with the open gate manually the symbol that says that we open the gate manually and we can see the time exactly what was happening in the in the time that we opened the gate and of course it it's very relevant in cases that we want to open the gate to someone but he's not on the database um, those events are from a period of time from a time to a time of course we can choose from which time to which time we are going to get the events we just need to press the filter by dates and we choose the from and the to okay so using that we can get information for a larger period of time filtering we can filter our results according to many different um, uh, areas we can filter according to company name, driver name, camera name, the direction of the camera, the event type, if it's authorized or unauthorized vehicle. For example, authorized vehicle, we have only two and all, we have all of the vehicles. We can filter by license plate. Let me just put numbers inside and we can see that 847 is a part of this license plate, 2847471. And, and we can see the car that was passing exactly in that moment. Uh, really in the press of a button you get tons of information you can also you can also choose the different uh, those the different um, uh, fields the different areas on, on on how you see the information you see that whenever I uh, unswitch the buttons the air the screen on the back is actually changing according to the events that we choose okay so if you don't want this if you don't want the certain fields, you can just uh, unchoose them. Okay. If you want to cancel the real-time events, if you're, you know you're searching for a specific event and then events keep on uh, jumping, you can just press the real-time event, and the live event will stop. But you will get a counter, okay? A counter of new events. So basically, whenever a car will pass, I hope it will happen really soon. We'll, we will be able to see the zero changing to a different number okay so let's give it a second maybe and we can see the number one a vehicle was passing in the background so we know uh, we can tell how many events we have missed once we release the button we get uh, all of the events okay another thing that we want to do is to be able to have an overview on our parking lot Right, we have a parking lot with the spaces, so we want to know how many spaces are taken, how many not taken. So, uh, how do we do it? We see here parking, okay, we can see the parking lot, that, uh, that, uh, our parking lot, and we can see the different companies, company one, company two, okay. For each company, we assign different amounts of parkings, of course, this you can see in the later videos of the, uh, of the parking spaces. But basically, you can see that the total parkings 
for uh, uh, for this company is five they occupy the zero how many parkings are available none uh, all of them company two same story okay we have one parking lot that has 10 parking spaces each company takes five so five for this and five for that of course when we see show for all when we choose show for, show all companies we can see a total of 10 parking spaces if we have parking a uh, cars that are inside and we want to remove those cars because they have left but hasn't been registered or anything like this we can remove physically a vehicle from our parking lot or uh, do the vice versa we can add him this will add on the next version of the shop system we will be able to uh, to add a, a car physically into our uh, parking uh, into the into our parking lot even if this vehicle hasn't been registered if it was accessed uh, manually or something okay thank you